Haley and her mother, Sherry, join us. They're back in our procedure room with her own Dr. Ashton and one of Haley's physicians, Dr. Swami Venturupali. Welcome to you all. Yeah, Travis, you know, this really was a medical mystery. And Haley, I know you're anxious to hear some results, but Dr. V, we hear autoimmune. This is your specialty as sure. a rheumatologist. Yes. So what do we know about that? So Haley, one of your tests came back positive. It's called the ANA test. And this is a test for autoimmune disease, and it's a general marker of autoimmune disease. Then my colleague, Dr. Batra, did a biopsy for you. And again, we found another clue for autoimmune disease on that biopsy. And in fact, the clue that we got was there was a condition called cutaneous lupus or discoid lupus, and that's what we're thinking you might have. So there's different kinds of lupus cutaneous lupus and systemic lupus. And I'm happy to say that I don't think you have systemic lupus, okay? okay? And you know, I think that's so, that's good. <laughs> you look so relieved already, right, as are we. And we haven't talked about lupus all that often on the show, but it is an autoimmune illness, and it's often called the great imitator. In fact, in medical school, to kind of give you a look behind the curtains, we learn a mnemonic called Soap Brain MD. That really highlights how many different organ systems it can affect, especially with systemic lupus. And so it is a very difficult diagnosis. That's why it's so very important. In this case, we put a team together to try to rule out certain things and figure out what is truly going on. Absolutely. Also joining us is another physician that helped to crack Haley's case. Please welcome board certified dermatologist, Dr. Sonia Batra. When you did your biopsy, do you think that this is cutaneous lupus? So actually the biopsy had two very interesting findings. One was suggestive of this skin-limited or cutaneous form of lupus, fortunately, or discoid lupus. And then the second very interesting finding was a microscopic mite called Demodex, which we see sometimes it lives in the follicle and can be normal flora. But in situations like this where the immune system may be in imbalance, where there's other inflammation going on, it was really striking because the counts of this were really elevated. So now when you and say microscopic mite, you mean like a little tiny little bug. Yeah, it's about a quarter of a millimeter and it lives in the follicle. And it's been observed since 1840 in dermatology, but for years we used to think it was just an incidental finding. And now we think that having elevated counts of that may actually contribute to a whole host of inflammatory conditions. Wow. So the good news is these are all things that can be treated. So there is a treatment for cutaneous forms of lupus. There's a treatment to decrease those demodex mites. And so we can work with you on getting all the correct medications for you. And Dr. Ashton, I know you have some other good news for Haley. Yeah, so, you know, Dr. V was really committed to helping you solve this mystery, yes. and he reached out to one of his best friends, mm -hmm. who really is a specialist in this, near your hometown, oh, who agreed to finish all the testing so we know 100% what's going on, and he'll take good care of you so after much. that. You're most welcome. How does this feel to you at this oh, point? I feel so blessed. I'm so happy to <laughs> finally finally have answers I've been looking for. It, it feels amazing. We're glad. We're I glad we could so help. Much. You're most Mom, you're relieved? <laughs>